What's up my beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video. Okay guys, so it's that time, it's the end of January and I wanted to bring you guys my January 2014 favorites. Uh, but before I do that, look at my hair y'all. I have totally just fallen in love with Beyonce's new hair. I know a lot of people don't like it, it looks sloppy, it's corny, but for me I absolutely fell in love with it. I decided to dig into my my suitcase of hair mm -hmm. and I grabbed one of my old units from RPG Show and it actually has a little tiny bit of color. I cut most of the color off but I wanted to hold on to a little bit of it and I did and I chopped it up. Let me turn around so you guys can see it and I cut it into like a bob. Yes ma'am and I'm loving it. So number one would be this hair. And it's my Beyonce inspired hair um, for the month of January. And I've been rocking it and loving it. Absolutely. Okay. So with that being said, let's start with hair. Number one thing that I've absolutely been loving for this month has been my John Masters Organic Shine On Leave-In Treatment for Supernatural Shine and Softness. And it's this right here. And it's just like a clear gel that, and I'm like out of it. It's just like a clear gel that you put into your hair when it's like when you finish washing it and conditioning it oh my god you know now that i'm have i have natural hair natural hair for me is a little it's not as friendly as i thought it would be <laughs> you know i find that it's it, it is rough and 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 um i don't want to say hard but the ends sometimes get a little rough so when i put this in my hair feels like butter baby's booty i love this stuff love it love 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 i got this from whole foods yep that's where i got this from okay so the next thing i've been loving is mixed chicks leave-in conditioner i did not know i have to say i really like it it's i find that it's creamy but it, it's not so creamy to where it doesn't absorb into the hair my hair still feels somewhat moisturized so i really like it and it allows it and it helps my curls kind of form instead of you know it just blow up your weight into a big afro it helps the curls kind of gather together and build and form a nice curl and i think that's because of the uh the wax that's in here it has protein in here so it has a lot of the good stuff that i actually like jojoba oil it has those things that have um glycerin is the second product in here but it does have some cones so you know like i said it has some good and some bad if you're one of those people that just like organic stuff then you probably wouldn't like this but for me i actually really enjoyed this i have not tried this in kennedy's hair just because i'm using some stuff in kennedy's hair that i absolutely love but right now for me i actually like it okay the next one would be of course my eco salad eco salad gel honestly i don't know not one natural that doesn't like it I'm sure they are out some out there but I really really like this stuff I've tried other things and nothing makes my curl go kapow like this so hands down I um, love this stuff love live for it um, the last thing well not the last thing but one of the best things that I've ever had since I've started my hair journey that's relaxed and natural would be my Trust Me Moisture Conditioner. This is fantastic. I find myself co-washing quite a bit just because I like to feel, I like the way my hair feels in the shower. Um, this as well, and this is the Trust Me Moisture Vitamin E Moisture Rich one, but they also have the Naturals one, and I like them both the same. My opinion, I, don't, I can't really tell too much of a difference for me and Kennedy's hair. Love it, love. Okay, so the last thing is not necessarily for my hair, but it's more for my weaves. And that is by Tresemme again, and this is the 24 hour body with collagen finishing spray for lasting bounce. I really like this stuff. Now, I haven't tried this on my natural hair because I don't wear my natural hair out too much, but on my weaves, yes to the gods. I mean, it leaves such a nice, <laughs> such a nice finish and hold without making my hair feel all stiff and stuff. And oh, I didn't know. I have to say I really like this stuff a lot. Okay, so let's move into some skincare, body care stuff. The number one thing would be by Apply Shea Moistures, and this is my Coconut Hibiscus Body Butter with um, collagen-free vitamin E. Absolutely love this stuff. It is so ridiculously creamy. And when you just 
rub it in it just leaves your body and your skin feeling so nice I use this more for like uh, right when I get out of the shower um, you know and I like to just rub my body down in this oh my gosh it just and it smells so good more importantly the smell like lingers on throughout the day so I have to say I really like this stuff. It leaves a nice little shine and moisture on your skin, especially right now in the winter time. I can't even think spring. I am still fighting my way through the winter and this helps me do it because it keeps my body nice and moisturized in the midst of all this cold air and dryness up, up in here. Yes, I love this. The next thing I have to say that I've been living for has been body scrubs and guys I kind of just got into body scrubs I really wasn't doing that whole body scrub thing before not really it just wasn't necessarily my thing but um, since I did I've, I have a hard time believing I'll go back because my body feels so much more exfoliated like I always exfoliated my face but I never really did my body too much until now so my favorite for this last month has been by tree hunt and that's my shea sugar body scrub Shea Sugar Body Scrub, yes to the gods. Smell this. Are you smelling that? Are you, did you, did you smell it? Smell it again. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, now as far as my face, these last two months I've been trying out a product that I have been kind of sweating. Okay, the first one would be, oh, uh, this is by, I, and I know I'm not gonna pronounce the name right, Oily Henriskin. <laughs> and this is a all skin types anti-aging sheer transformation with vitamin C complex. And what this one does, it says apply evenly to face and neck, AM and PM. So this is more like the uh like a moisturizer. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so moisturizing to my face. I love that it's full of just vitamins and it doesn't have a bunch of other crap in it. I absolutely love this stuff. I really do. I'm looking for like any crazy ingredients in it, but I don't see anything. I love this stuff. So this is the moisturizer. And this one is a night gel. This is an invigorating night gel. Oil-free gel helps vanish the appearance of fine lines pigmentation and breakouts with AHA and guys you know that's exactly you know now that I'm in my 30s I, I do have fine lines around I have smile lines around here look see I have them trust me and I'm getting a few lines around my eyes and stuff like that so anything to help with that so I've been using this and I definitely haven't recognized a difference at one time I used to put fine line creamers to kind of try to plug in stuff but I don't really have to do that too much more because of this so these will stay in my regimen but probably out of all this the thing that I've been loving the most is this one and this is the truth serum collagen booster it's a potent vitamin C complex to brighten it brightens smooths and helps the appearance appearance of aging and this is basically Vibe. It, this is oranges. It smells like a straight up orange. It smells like an orange you're just putting all over your face. I thought I could open it. It comes with a little pump and it's really, really nice and light. And you just apply this all over your face. I will actually do a um, video showing you how I actually use this product. But I really like these products. I have to say for my skin, yes to the gods. Okay, so let's get into makeup a little bit. Now, I don't really have a lot of makeup. One thing I will say for this month, I've been really reaching for my BH Cosmetics palettes. And that's the day and night and the party girl, I have to say. For some reason, when I do, when I decide to actually do my eyes and all that good stuff, I have been too lazy to kind of reach for different palettes and different colors from all the different places. I've been reaching for these because I can find every color that I kind of might want to use in these palettes. I can find some matte stuff, I can find some shimmer stuff. I've been really digging green, so that's kind of what I use today. I don't know what's going on with me in green, but lately me in green, which is my favorite color, just in case you guys didn't know that. I do love pretty much all hues of green. I can't call it, I just do. So these are the two palettes that I've been using the most, so they definitely are my favorites for this month. 
as far as blush don't ask me why I've showed you guys this before and I keep showing you because out of all the blushes that I have ex expensive and not expensive this is the one that I feel like if if I want to use it extremely or very lightly I can and that is by Black Radiance and this is the Plum Sherbet and it comes looks like this and it's the most it's matte and I have to say it, it it's perfect for this time of year and not only is it perfect for this time of year but it's like you touch it once you got enough product on your hand for like the next 12 days so you have to use this with a very 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 light hand but absolutely love it highlight and you guys lately I've been loving highlights yes the cards look bam in your face mm-hmm and this one is the shape the future extra diminished skin finish I really like this one because I think it complements my skin it has like a rose thing going on this one down here is like rose gold and this is definitely more plummy rose but I love that it's two different colors in one palette so I can do multiple things with this I highlight with this one on you know my cheekbones but going down the center of my face I use the darker and one. I also use these to put into my inner tear ducts really really like this really like this especially for this time of year it's not too bright it's not too dark I really love the color it's just one of my favorites real quick as far as concealing I don't use this underneath my eye I use it as a primer for my eyelids because I want to tell you guys if you have those concealers that you don't like underneath your eye don't just get rid of them try them as primers and you guys know that for some reason when it comes to primer on my face or like actual primer primers on my eyes it makes my eyes run like crazy but since I discontinued using primers on my eyes not my face just my eyes I've been noticing a huge decrease in my eyes running like crazy so I decided to reach back into my Tarte Marca Coolia. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong so I don't need you guys to tell me I'm pronouncing it wrong just flow with me and that's this creaseless concealer this is I hated it because this is color is in deep and it's like the lightest thing ever but I love it for concealer because it doesn't crease up and that's exactly what you don't want you want to prime your eyes so it prevents your eyeshadow from creasing so I've really been enjoying this I um I would repurchase this just to use it as eyeshadow primer might sound crazy but it's the truth but as far as primer for my entire face I have fallen stupidly in love with this black up uh, um I uh, pal I'm sorry primer all all complete face primer and this is what the box looks like and it looks like this guys I do have a haul coming up to show you guys uh, very soon but I have fallen in love with this primer what I like the most about the primer it kind of it's kind of it goes on nice and smooth but once it absorbs it's kind of slightly sticky not not enough to where you can't apply your foundation obviously but because I do have it on now but it's kind of sticky to where it almost like grabs your foundation and like don't let go and this is a eight hour correcting primer so I really really like this as far as my lips as far as my lips um I've been rocking two colors this month the first one would be the Rihanna Ho Ho or Hawks this one i it's matte I love it it's not red it's not um it's not like a it's not diva it's not dark wine it's not too dark it's not too bright it is like perfect in my opinion winter lipstick so I'm still rocking her on my day to day really really love her but my favorite for the month the one that I've been wearing probably the most I, you guys know how I felt about cozy up and that was my lipstick you guys know how I feel about velvet Teddy that was my lipstick this right now has to be probably my all-time favorite and I have it on right now and it's Mac matte taupe I love this lipstick and I love it because I don't need a lip liner with this this is my skin it mutes out my lips it mutes out my lips but at the same time it has like a almost like a rose thing going on so it adds some pigmentation to my lips and at the same time it's it's ah, love live for it live for it as of right now my absolute favorite I love it <laughs> look and that's it guys thank you so much for watching my January favorites as always you guys know how to reach me all my content information you can follow me anywhere and everywhere 
all the links will be below love you guys to pieces make sure you go and check out my latest videos they'll all be linked below definitely want to go check those out because uh, i got some things i want you guys to see if you haven't seen them already i love you guys to pieces stay blessed and i will see you in the very next video bye guys